good y'all today i have a culture kings unboxing wanted to show you guys a few of the pieces that i've gotten first and foremost you guys can see the bag um, decided to put everything in there just to make this unboxing just a little bit interesting we should call it an unbagging how about this sounds a little bit better right so first and foremost the gym bag is clutch honestly um i've actually used this bag a lot so much so a good look but i did get my first few pickups from starter so first and foremost we have this varsity jacket or you know you can call it a bomber jacket whichever one you prefer and this nice kind of teal green color honestly super fire i'll show you guys that when i decide to put it on and also kind of do a sizing breakdown i literally try to go to the thrift store as much as possible and find starter gear because it's always top-notch quality and i just thought this color was beautiful man like it just looks so dope so i went with a large on this just because i didn't want it to be extremely oversized and it's still pretty big being a large like i could have even have went probably with a medium and been solid but i mean large fits good i definitely would not size up or go any bigger than this sleeves are perfect length so i mean maybe the medium probably would have been too short but that satin green teal whatever color you want to call it looks so dope starter always does really good with their embroidery i mean you guys can see we got the text on the right side embroidered starter logo on the left side also got some starter jogging pants it has the same green hue as the starter jacket that i got but also this really nice cream color I have this really nice embroidery you guys can see starter athletic I ended up picking these up in a size large starter pants just go true to size very clean great super warm i mean these are perfect for this fall they just look so solid man let me throw the bomb around real quick you can see it is a really good fit also have a pair of coleman shorts um the saint morta again i feel like that embroidery just adds that extra hint of just oomph to the, the clothes you know what i mean like perfect for them summer yacht days you know what i'm saying go out to the yacht i got my yacht out on. no i'm just playing i got no yacht or nothing but now these are a little bit tight this is a size large as well i could have went with an extra large but i mean the large ain't bad very very fitted and it is kind of like that flexible material so not really a big deal so really depending on you know how you want it to look i would go up a size if you want like a true you know it's not crazy tight but it's pretty it's tight go true to size next thing we got in the bag is two vintage t-shirts a lot of you guys have been asking me hey mike where do you get your vintage t-shirts typically i get them from culture kings um, goat crew is the one that has all the fire vintage tees and honestly they're very good quality i probably have like 15 plus goat crew t-shirts i've washed them i've dried them they've all held up phenomenally so the investment is completely worth it just because they do last a very long time and already have that vintage look to them honestly the reason i picked this one is solely just because of the 94 that's when i was born and just the colors on this are beautiful this is like the perfect vintage tee honestly to me such a versatile piece just because i have so many sneakers with small hints of this this would honestly be fire with like some yellow shorts and either lightning fours or black shorts lightning fours um you could wear like some cargos you could wear the bread ones there's just so many options when it comes to this tee but you guys can just see the detail on this is ridiculous like it just looks so tough i did go with an extra large i'm 6'3 190 just to give you some dimensions so you can decide on what you want as far as sizing these do run slightly big i could easily go with a large It'd be a little more fitted so you know going with this extra large gives me more of that like vintage look and you guys can see the print on the back and it doesn't end there we're still going we have another pair of kind of like a mesh basketball short very simple with your black and white this is the shorts by 23 got a size large on these and they do really have kind of like that snug fit so if you like your stuff oversized definitely size up this is a really nice material to be honest like wow i don't even really know what you would call that i can't exactly remember how much these were and i can't find the price tag right now but cool pair of shorts pair of pants cannot wait as soon as i saw these on the website i needed them so can't wait to try these on this is perfect for the fall this next piece right here is the patchwork joggers by 23 um, probably could have went with an extra large on these they run just it seems like a tad short for me but like i said i am taller damn that kind of sucks but man they are super tough definitely probably should have went with the extra large it's really interesting because you guys see the way the pockets are right here and this is like a very fabricy stretch uh, material but man it's just the patchwork on it looks so cool to me let me tell you i was ready to pull a fit off on these but they are a tad small still very dope 
I mean, you can see the material on them just looks premium. Then we have this Phoenix Suns crew neck. This crew neck is from Mitchell and Ness, another brand that I have so many different tees and shorts from. Um, so I'm glad to have scooped that. Now for this crew neck, typically I always go with an extra large just because I am taller. But for this, I wanted to go with a large. Like I said, I have a ton of Mitchell and S stuff and typically it runs big, but this is pretty true, very fitted. You guys can see, um, sits right above my waist. It's not like overly long, which I don't like about my crew necks. I like them to just sit perfectly at my waist to kind of show detail of my pants. But again, this is really tough and Mitchell and S always kills it. Obviously there's plenty of options of your favorite teams. I just decided to go with the Phoenix Suns just for fit purposes. And, but man, this, this looks clean. And the thing about this crew neck is it's not like extremely heavy or anything. It's just, it's pretty light. It's perfect for those fall days. You're not gonna be burning up or anything crazy. So I definitely would recommend going true to size on this. Last but not least, we have these green trousers. I was a little bit iffy on the sizing on this. I ended up going with the 34 because that's my true waist and they are kind of oversized. I'll show you guys obviously B-roll of it. You know, what I realize now is just that they do run a tad short. So this is my true waist, the 34, and it fits perfect but you can see like the length isn't there. It's actually just a little bit too high and these are supposed to be kind of the oversized that kind of go over your shoe, you know? So I probably would have been better off getting a 36 and I think that's just some advice if you wanted to get any of the 23 stuff is just be aware that it does run a little bit shorter. But I mean, as far as the quality goes, they are pretty dope. They feel really good. This fit right here would be perfect with a white t-shirt, but Overall, man, I am definitely a fan of the brand. Now I just know sizing better. A uh, cool little look. You guys can let me know what you think down below. So there you guys have it. That is my unboxing from Culture Kings. If you have any questions about sizing or anything, make sure to drop a comment down below. This is your boy Sneaker Life. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Run it.